Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 29th of April to the 5th of May 2019. I hope you're well Pisces. So, slightly different layout. We have five cards in total. So, the top cards are all radiant, uh, the radiant form of the Rider Waite tarot deck. And these are clarified by the classic Rider Waite tarot deck. So, in the past position, we have the lovers. The present position, we have the star. The challenges or obstacles, we have the three of wands. The advice from tarot is the two of swords. And the eight of, eight of cups represents the outcome. I've also pulled an angel oracle card and a spirit message card as well for further clarification. So Pisces, let's start with a past position. So we have the lover's card and also the nine of pentacles. I kind of think this might be where you're, you're in a relationship and you're deciding whether you want to be on your own or not. That's the first thing that hits me. Do I want to be on my own? Do I want that independence? This can also be making clear choices, clear choices about moving forward, maybe in terms of finances. Now this can obviously link to career because it can be representing finances, finances, job situations. So making big decisions, you could be making big decisions on the love front again, whether you want to be on your own or not, or you could be making decisions on the career front. You want more abundance, more money, be able to stand on your, on your own two feet, buy more beautiful things, more material things, more material success. So big choices lie ahead. I think certainly in the past, maybe you've had choices and you've had to make big choices. Could be on the love front, as I said, could link also to making choices, um, certainly to do with money, finances, so yeah. I'm just noticing as well actually. <laughs> Do you know where it's funny what pops into my head. You see this this is the apple tree and this is the snake, the serpent, the garden of Eden. I don't know whether there's been some situation where you want to be on your own because someone's given into temptation. Someone might not have been true. Somebody who you thought was true has let you down in some way, shape or form. This could have been a past situation. There's been a time of healing. This is an angel Raphael, the God's healer. Um, so there's been some kind of like healing as well. It says that you can come conquer these obstacles. This is the mountain, an obstacle. But again, could be choices. could also be choosing the self-love now putting yourself first loving yourself finding self-love and moving forward to your own independence your own material success as well so as I say there's always a number of translations to this card these cards um, now the present oh these are beautiful cards Pisces we have the star and the ace of wands you're wanting a new beginning, you're wanting a fresh start. This comes after a time of healing again, another healing card. I think some of you have had to heal. You've had to heal wounds. But you're at that point now where you're ready for growth, expansion, new horizons. Finding new passions maybe, could be new passions on the love front. Could also be offers of career progression, jobs, promotions opportunities to move to a more successful point in time, the next level up, can also be the start of a new business venture. You want to shine in your own individual light, Pisces. 
you understand where you're going, what direction you're going in. This is also divine wish fulfillment with the star energy. Gifts being bestowed on you from the divine energy. Guiding you forward, giving you opportunities. Also reminding you to take action in your own life, to move forward. Find direction now, find where you're going. Because there's real opportunity to grow, expand in whatever aspect of life. You see, this could be a new desire, a passion. This could also be, again, on the career front, progression. The beginnings of progression. You're taking that first step in understanding where you're heading. There's clarity here. Yeah, it's a beautiful card, the, the star. Where you might have lost that sense of self. Been trying to find yourself, maybe where you need that enrichment from within, self-identity, self-worth, all of these beautiful things you get with a star energy. This comes after the tower in the Major Arcana. This is part of the Major Arcana in the tarot deck. And it gives you hope. It gives you hope. It brings calm. There's hope hope to move forward to that new beginning in your present maybe you're hoping that new beginning will present itself pisces a fresh start that's what you feel you need certainly some of you obviously it won't resonate with everybody now challenges and obstacles so the first two cards we have we have the three of three of wands and this is clarified by the page of pentacles Changing your own self-worth. It says your challenges to believe in yourself. Your challenges to understand that you can manifest more success in your life by taking action right now. I don't know if you quite believe it, Pisces. It also talks about committing to it. Committing to bringing change, good change into your life to bring the beginnings of maybe more financial security. See, your ships could start coming in here. More solidity in life now. Could be needing self-worth. This is also, the page is also where whatever you're beginning, whatever could be a new direction that you're beginning to manifest in your own reality. Again, we spoke about new beginnings before. This is where you're beginning to see small signs of success. But again, it's only if you really believe that that can happen, Pisces. So this is again linking back to the star energy, finding that self-worth, believing in the value of yourself, switching on to your potential. Now, the other thing is, okay, we have... Also, the lovers and the six of cups in this reading. So we have the lovers again. You might need to be making clear choices. Again, coming back to you, self-choices. Choices on self, on your own, on where you're going. Could well be choices on love. Now, there could be somebody from the past coming back into your life. That's the six of, pent six, six of cups. And it's making a decision whether you want them into your life or if you just want to move on. You want to move on. You might want that change. So there are decisions to make. And yet that's your challenge is, is to get clarity in your mind, Pisces. Your challenge is to find out what you want in life to make you happy. Because happiness is on offer to you. The Six of Cups is a real happy card. It's two children. It's actually capturing the childhood moments where before experience, before relationships, before baggage got in the way, weighed you down with life experience, this is that fresh new innocence optimism, that real happiness to wake up um, every day with newfound optimism and see the world as that magical, wonderful place where anything's possible. So there is very much that case now where you're trying to 
maybe make clear decisions. It could be to do with love. There could be somebody coming back from the past. Maybe old love that just hasn't quite finished. And you're wondering whether to move on and, and move in a new direction. Finding out what you want. What adds value to your life now. Yeah. So the advice from Tarot, we have the Two of Swords and the Sun. I love these two cards together. So Tarot says, Two of Swords basically says that you can't make a decision because not everything is clear to you. You can't make up your mind. And I kind of think that emotions might be running a little bit high. Maybe you just can't get perspective on a situation, Pisces. Something's holding you back. Your heart's guarded as well. This is your heart being guarded with the crossed arms going across the heart. Chakra, it is. It's going across the heart area. So you're guarded. Maybe you're guarded. Maybe it could be in love. It could be in a love situation. Some of you are really challenged in making decisions now. Because it's to do with the heart. It could be to do with the heart. The, the Sun card say, is saying all will be revealed, all will be revealed. You will find clarity, you will see the truth, you will see clarity, you will see things for what they are. And the block that you're feeling right now, you see this wall, there's a wall here. You will pass through that block, you will overcome that blockage because this is divine guidance as well that's talking to you. You're being guided forward to find your own natural power, to get your own enlightenment, to find answers, revelations within you, to move forward through those blocks. So you will be able to, Tarot is saying that Wait until you get clarity, wait until things become clear. And then you'll move forward to a happier time. Don't make hasty decisions that you might regret later. Give it time. And I don't think you'll wait very long till you get that clarity. You'll get that sense of self of what you want, your own natural power, your being. You're true, what you truly want. This person is naked. Your true self, what your true self wants. So yeah, beautiful cards. And the Eight of Cups is, yeah, this is the Eight of Cups. You're going to be, this is moving on. Now this could be walking away from a relationship. This could be walking away from something that where there was something missing, there could have been something missing, a piece missing in your life. And you want to find it. This is that quest to go and find what you're looking for. Now, this could be in any aspect of your life, whether it's wanting a, a greater career, greater money, something that gives makes you happier as in yourself. It could be new love. It could be moving on to new love. Or it might well be that where you're heading, you're beginning to find that missing piece in your life now. You've had to take time out just to see the truth, clarity, again, that revelation. Understand what you want. Now, that you know, things like yoga, um, connecting with nature, having some time out, having a day out, just get to get some perspective on a situation before you make clear decisions. That's the advice from Tarot as well. This is the outcome. Taking time out to see the truths. I think some of you have had Three of Swords situations and you're wanting more solidity now. You're wondering whether to cut away from this situation. I just say what's popping into my head with these cards. But I think you're going to get those. This is a momentary pause where you're getting that clarity, that enlightenment that you've been searching for. And again, Eight of Wands, fast progress. Moving forward to new opportunities. I, th I think some of you want new passions, new opportunities, new connections, new experiences. You want progress. You want life to progress. 
I don't think you want to be captured in the past. You want to feel you're growing, you want to grow, expand, whether it's in a relationship or whether it's in life or whether it's in career. This is opportunities to progress and move forward and find that missing piece. There is a message as well of going with the flow. You see the river down here. This is divine connections, divine opportunities, divine messages being sent to you to guide you forward. So there is an element of going with the flow, but the red cloak also says that you need to take action and decide what you want. And I think you'll finally come into a decision, Pisces. So the decision will be made. Yeah. Powerful reading, Pisces. Very positive, very profound. Yeah, manifestation is the angel oracle card. That doesn't surprise me because you're wanting to change your life for the better. And this is you taking control of your life. And not almost going back a step. This is you wanting to move forward to something bigger, better, something that's more enriching, more true to you, more true to your soul, more true to yourself, more true to your heart and mind. You've got the power to do that, to connect with the universe, to change your life for the better. This is real magic. And the spirit message is hope. Funny enough, the star card is here. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope and I think you're moving forward with hope here hope optimism magic most definitely I hope you enjoyed the reading Pisces if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a great week and I will see you next time thank you